What you're about to watch is the very reason why you don't give up your 2A rights and depend on the government to keep you safe because when that time comes for them to keep you safe, this is what they tell you. Toronto police advised residents there that if they have their key fobs for the vehicles in a Faraday pouch, to leave that at the front door so that if thieves are brazen enough to break in, they can just kind of grab it and go. To prevent the possibility of being attacked in your home, leave your fobs at your front door. Can enter because they're breaking into your home to steal your car. They're, they don't want anything else. A lot of them that they're arresting have guns on them and they're not toy guns, they're real guns. They're loaded. I mean, he's right, but a lot yeah. of people are upset saying, what? Like, are you giving up on trying to catch these guys? Like, it's it's creating quite a fear. It fear. is, and, and I want to explain a little bit of the context as well, because what they're saying is, if you put your key in a Faraday pouch, this is like basically a signal blocker. I'm not a tech expert, but some of these it's thieves- It's a heavy pouch. Exactly, yeah. and some of these thieves are, are doing relay attacks. So they're using a device, they're coming in, and they are then extending the signal of your fob to steal your car. But if they are not able to use that device because you've got it in a Faraday pouch and they're brazen enough to break in, police are saying just minimize the contact. A lot of them have guns. Definitely, and it's terrorizing people. Absolutely. A police officer telling people to leave their keys closer to the front door so that criminals don't have to walk too far to steal their keys. It's insane. While you're at it, why not tell people to leave your debit card with your pin number next to the door also? Or better yet, why not also leave a pair of AKT1 blackout wireless Bluetooth in-ear hearing protection next to the keys so that if they ever have to try this shit in Texas, they can protect their hearing while listening to their favorite R&B songs while they're getting shot at by the Texas homeowner. Matter of fact, while you're at it, head over to shop.mrcoleonnoir.com and or just click the link in the description section and grab yourself a pair of these AKT1 blackout in-ear hearing protection, which are my absolute favorite, so that you can start using them at the gun range because you're going to be there quite a bit more once you realize that you probably shouldn't give up your two-way rights. Now, I can't be the only one that notices that every idea that the government has to keep you safe involves making it easier for the criminals to victimize you. And it's not just Canada, it's in the US too. If criminals are robbing people at gunpoint, Baron can still carry so the criminals don't have to deal with armed citizens. The governor today said she was expecting pushback, but she held her ground as she announced a 30-day ban on open and concealed carry laws in Bernalillo County. If criminals are committing too much crime for the police to handle, respond to less 911 calls. So when there's a uh, event that doesn't require, it's, it's not in progress, we're going to take and reroute that call to our telephone reporting unit, which will be operational from 7 a.m. to 3 a.m. Uh, and then, the hours from 3 a.m. to 7, uh, those calls will be queued up for the person that comes in at 7 a.m. to take the reports in the morning. This is the goofiest advice I've heard come from someone who's supposed to be keeping people safe. But what's goofier are the people surprised by all of this. I'm sorry, you thought you could do this? Today, our national freeze on handguns is coming into force. It is no longer legal to buy, sell, or transfer a handgun in Canada. And this? It is no longer permitted to buy, sell, transport, import, or use military-grade assault weapons in this country. And the criminals would just lay down their arms and what? Become priests instead of becoming more emboldened now that they know most people won't have guns? Where I'm a changed man! Just, but I ain't like that no more. I'm a, I'm a changed man. You were right, I was wrong. If you haven't figured out by now that the government's idea of keeping you safe is to make you a good victim, you're either not paying attention or you're brainwashed by ideology that has you thinking there's some perverted sense of morality in being a victim. I mean, just listen to this logic. The police are telling you to put your keys at the front of your house because the criminals just want your cars. But if the criminals just wanted the car, why the f do they have guns? If not to use the said guns to kill you if you don't willingly give up your car. Yet everyone wants to clutch their pearls when they find out that you can use deadly force to protect property in Texas. If criminals are willing to use deadly force to take property, why are we shaming people for being willing to use deadly force to protect it? Stop giving your 2A rights away for the perception of safety. The government and criminals are two sides of the same coin, fighting over who gets to hold the monopoly over violence and control over all the normies in the middle. 
who don't understand that the document they're so willing to get rid of is the same document telling you that you have the power to protect yourself. You have the right and duty to protect yourself and no government or criminal has the right to take that right from you. But we just give it away so willingly because we think we're happier living under safe oppression instead of dangerous freedom. Well, we're less free than we've ever been. Now I don't see a lot of happy people. Oh, and do me this one favor. You see that subscribe button? Click that subscribe button. You're gonna see a bell. Hit the bell. There'll be a drop down menu. Click all, and then you'll be notified anytime I release a new video.